What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cocktails and Bar Tales. If this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. I'm Nikki, the business coach for Mobile Bartenders. I'm a serial entrepreneur who started out as a server, worked my way up to bartender, opened my first mobile bar business, and made 100K my second year in business using strategies, networking, promo, consistency, and a lot of prayer. Retired my mobile bar and started coaching ambitious mobile bar owners, which is where we are now. Enough about me. Let's get into this episode. Today's episode is about taking the proper steps when you start to feel stuck in business. Some of you guys may have been feeling stuck for a while, and that's totally normal down this road of entrepreneurship it gets very rough it is not for the weak if anybody told you or made you believe that starting a business would be a piece of pie they lied to you they lied i am so sorry to tell you that entrepreneurship is hard work but it's very very rewarding in the end Sometimes doing. It all depends on how you look at it. I have a few suggestions to help you get over the hump, though, guys. Because just because you're feeling stuck and you may be feeling frustrated, and like myself, I can be transparent in this moment. When I first started my mobile bar business and when I started Brandon Bartenders, I wanted to quit a gazillion times. I felt stuck a gazillion times. It is normal, but you keep pushing. Now, I wanted to quit mobile bartending because I had a full-time job as a bartender. And trying to get those perfect days off to do events was like pulling teeth and once my previous boss got wind of my job my side business or as he put it my second job (laughs) ah, it got even more stickier I could not I was turning down so many events that it was starting to frustrate me because once you turn down so many events They stopped coming. Yes, they stopped coming. But let me tell you guys how I got unstuck. I got creative. If I can't take off Friday and Saturday to work my business, then I'll just hire people that I work with already that knows the business to work for me. Now, I got a bunch of servers to do this who bartended maybe on a day when a when another bartender was out or nobody wanted that shift they were getting their experience in behind the bar then so they were not inexperienced at all so i got smart and i started to hire out and that is what took me from being stuck in my mobile bar business barely making money calls and leaves drying up to making a hundred K in my second year of business. Big deal, big deal because I already had a job, kids, a home, a life. So that was no easy feat and I did not do it by myself. Let me be clear on that. I never did it by myself without my unofficial team. I would have been screwed. Now, I've also felt stuck in Brandon Bartenders. I have gotten to the point at at a at a certain time in business to where I was so confused whether I was giving away too much information, uh, whether I was spending time with the wrong type of clients, and when you're dealing with the wrong type of clients, it will make you want to jump out of your skin. 
literally make you want to jump out of your skin. It is so miserable when you're stuck in a relationship with a person and you guys are not seeing eye to eye. Very hard. Very hard. And I've also felt stuck when I was literally out here working my butt off in my own business. I have delegated a lot of tasks. Thank God. We're still in the process of doing a, some hiring to alleviate me from being the worker in my business and actually being the CEO. And that's where I want to get you guys to the point of being a CEO, being a business owner, opposed to being a worker in a job that you created for yourself. All right, guys. So the first thing we need to do is do a serious assessment of your business. Sit down and really think about it and figure out where the holes are in your business. Because if you're doing it by yourself, if you're feeling stuck and you're on the verge of wanting to quit or it's just uh, negativity all around what was supposed to be your baby, your brainchild. You didn't just get up one day and say, I think I'm going to start a business. I think I'm going to do that business. No, this is something that a lot of you guys always wanted to do. This is something that when the wave hit, you took your shot. But now the honeymoon phase of business is over and we're down to actual business. Okay, you don't want to be in a business where you're breaking even or not even breaking even every single month, which causes you to feel very stressed out, very drained, and very stuck. So we need to do a serious assessment on your business and how you want your business to be ran, what is the best way for your business to be ran without you running on a hamster wheel every single day. Now, the typical person in business for themselves, their day usually goes something like this. They'll get up, have coffee, probably not so much of a morning routine, or they kind of just get up whenever they get up. You know, they'll have coffee, they'll do other things, and then they'll mosey on down to their workspace. They'll check their emails. They'll answer some of them. They will possibly look for any invoices or contracts that could have possibly come back overnight from a consult. And then you get down to what I like to call busy work. I call it busy work because if it is not money making activities, is busy work. Now, we all have to do the busy work. But you don't want to get bogged down in busy work till you have no more energy to create. That's where a lot of people end up feeling super, super stuck because you're doing the mundane day-to-day, 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 you're barely getting any leads because you're in worker mode instead of being in CEO mode. Because when you're in CEO mode, all you're doing is networking, bringing in more business, bringing in more um, quality clientele, networking with other vendors. You're really being the creative of the business. You're really bringing out you think better. So you're bringing out all these different ideas and that is what you focus on. And you have somebody else focus on the busy work. Now, I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys may say, well, I can't afford to hire any help. You can. 
If you look into your budget, if you look into your spending, I am almost certain that you can find just enough money to find a person to do your busy work. And you don't have to pay an arm and a leg. Just, you got to do a little research. And this will help you. It will not, it will not only help you from feeling, unstu- feeling stuck, it will make you feel more of a boss and you won't be so drained because a typical day for an entrepreneur that is always doing busy work they never really get anything done you know they may make a to-do list and i want you guys to stop doing that if you're going to make a to-do list make a very short to-do list don't get over ambitious Make a five-page to-do list, and you don't complete one thing on that list. Not the first day, not the second day, not the next week. It just never gets done. The work that needs to be done to move your business along, it just never gets done. You stay inside your inbox. You stay on social media trying to figure out how to hack the algorithm, how to get seen, how to get more engagement. Busy work. Because a lot of you guys are out here flying by your seats with no strategy. And it shows. No strategy. You need to have a strategy, a strategy to how you work. Now, let's get back to why busy work is extremely draining. I think I just explained that to you guys why it was extremely draining to you because you have no more no more brain power after all the admin work you've done and all the non-important things you've done the entire week. You haven't closed on one client. You're just out here doing busy work. I have two words for you. Delegate and automate. Delegate and automate. Get yourself some help. A fresh set of eyes. A new person in your business taking a look at what you got going on. Helping you figure it out. It's a lifesaver. It is a lifesaver. And trust me, in a couple of weeks you'll no longer, sometimes even sooner, you'll no longer feel stuck. Now, you want to give your business a total makeover in 10, 15 hours a week. You need to delegate. Like I said, you need to hire out. You need to get some automations going. And you need to give that administration work. Hand that inbox over. Get yourself a VA. Hand that inbox over. Get yourself a graphic designer, a a content manager. Hand all that stuff over. Especially if it's things that you're not really good at or things you just do not enjoy doing. If the only thing that you enjoy doing is getting behind the bar and serving drinks, then you're going to need some help. Because you can't have a background, a backbone business on a great foundation if all you want to do is the fun stuff. Unless you have help. So before anybody gets in here thinking to themselves well I don't know how I'm going to pull that off you'll figure it out if you really want your business to succeed you will figure it out trust me but you can make your business over in 10 to 15 hours a week because now you have enough time to be the creative behind the business if that's something you're not into hire it out If you don't want to be behind the bar, you just actually want to run the company and that's it. Sign the checks, book the events, that's all you want to do. Get yourself a team. They don't have to be a full-time team. You can get a part-time team. You don't have to worry about how you're going to pay your on-call team. That should already be piped into your contracts. Extra bartender, extra barback, server, etc. should already be piped in to your contract. So that's taken care of. So the best way to 
get unstuck. Stop feeling like you're running in place. It's to actually do some things differently. Don't get up every day and go sit down to your computer and mindlessly go through your emails. Because I know a lot of people do not separate their emails. Like you may have all type of junk emails, all type of um, promo emails coming in with your work that should be separated so you don't get stuck down some rabbit hole. You want to keep your phone away from you unless you are filming because it's easy to pick up that phone and get onto Instagram, get onto TikTok and start scrolling. And before you know it, three hours have passed and you're down the rabbit hole and you haven't gotten anything done. You need to get things done in your business if you hope to scale. Getting the help you need, automating your business as much as you can. You can do this through the uh, the Sato, HoneyBook, it's a lot of others that you can do this from. But if you have not automated your business, if you have not hired out, even if you come to a place where you're on a in a flow, you are very much privy to getting back stuck because just because you have a huge burst of energy for like three days and you work, 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 and you work, 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 and you're doing it all by yourself, you're going to get right back in a position of feeling stuck. And we don't want that. You want to progress every single day in your business. You want to do something that progresses your business every single day day so those are my tips for getting unstuck oh i forgot to mention the first and foremost you have to make up in your mind this is something that you actually really want and then you need to go for it point blank period you need to make your mind up you need to go for it you need to hire out you say you don't have the money find the money because you have it you have it Tell me or ask yourself this. What do you spend money on every month that you could really go without? Do you really need Netflix, Hulu, Paramount, HBO, BT? Do you really need all of those streaming services? Or is one fine? Do you really need that expensive Dunkin's or Starbucks every day? Do you absolutely have to get your nails done three times a month do you have to go out with your friends every weekend do you have to hit brunch every Sunday do you have to eat out on uber eats every every night of the week or three four times a week are those excuse me are those things that you have to do no it's not so you can cut back on all of that, hire you some help, a few months down the line, if you want to continue to spend your money like that, then you'll have more money to do so. But by that time, that's not what you'll be wanting to do. You'll be wanting to reinvest a lot of your money back into your company because that is how it grows. That is how your business grows. All right, guys, I think I'm off my soapbox tonight about being stuck and unstuck, but we're going to keep this series going because we're going to talk about procrastination. We're going to talk about laziness. We're going to talk about the fear of spending money. You cannot make a crap ton of money doing this if you're not willing to spend some. And I'm not just talking about trinkets for your bar. Okay, you're going to have to really get outside of yourself if you're hoping to make your business uber successful. So over the next week or next two or three weeks, this is what we will be talking about. And we're even going to throw some mindset stuff in there, some manifestation, because right now with all the rave, I know you guys heard about the law of attraction, law of assumption, 
which this has been universal law forever. It is just popular now. And for good reason, it works. So that's a whole other podcast. So I'll give you guys the rundown on why I say it works, how it works, and how it can literally change your life. All right, guys, so thanks for listening. New episodes air every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. This podcast, however, is going out kind of late, but 7 o'clock on a normal schedule. Now, if you're ready to actively move your business forward, join the Bartender Society, our mobile bartender's private community. Inside, you'll get bi-weekly Q&A sessions, master classes, monthly guest speakers. Because, believe it or not, I don't know everything. But I know how to get the right people in the room to teach you guys some things. Business resources, pricing calculators, plus so much more. Oh, and guys, we have a valentine's day deal like we have done every year since we've been in business um i don't have a valentine's don't feel bad for me it is what it is but i love to do something for everybody else one year access 365 days 214 dollars right now now this is the thing though There's only 14 slots. 14 slots, guys. Now, I think my link is up top. I'll recheck it to make sure. But just click the link in my bio up top and get in while you can. The regular price is $97 a month and or $9.97 a year. You're going to need more than a month. So I suggest you take the year while it's at its lowest it's ever going to be until next February.